So hi guys and welcome back. Uh, today I will show you how to build a micro FPV set for about 20 bucks with a weight of less than 5 grams. All the components which I will use are available from Banggood. I will put all the links in the description. So let's get started. First I got myself one of these 200 milliwatt transmitter modules. As you can see, they are very nice. <coughs> they also come with a heatsink here. They weigh about 2 grams. And you have all the connectors which you need here. So on this side you can see it's the ground connector and 5 volts. So these are powered by 5 volts. Can be nicely powered by one cell LiPo. So I have tested this. So here is the power supply. Uh, ground and 5 volts. You can also uh, connect audio here, but I did not try this, so I don't know how this works. On the other side we have the antenna signal uh, here. Sorry, the antenna ground here and here and the signal in the middle, of course. So signal is in the middle here. I'll keep using my fingernails. Is in the middle here and here where the fingernail is, is ground and here is ground. So here uh, you would connect your antenna. And that's basically is. Of course, you still need the camera. And here again, we have this nice and cheap, they cost around 10 packs, uh, 600 DVL CMOS cameras from Banggood, which also weigh almost nothing. So they are three, four grams, something. We'll put them on, on the scales in a minute. And well, I used this camera, hooked it up to the transmitter uh, and made it work. Of course, now we have the camera and the uh, video transmitter. We still need an antenna, right? So here you have several choices. You can buy uh, really small spiral net antennas from Banggood, but well, I just used finally found the use for one of these cheap rubber ducky antennas. So everybody has many of them lying around at home. So I will just break them here. That means I can just put that away. So just use a little bit of force. That is okay. And then I will just, just uh, apply some force and get this out. This is very easy. As you can see, I've just got this out here. And well, there she goes, already flew out. This leaves us with the plane antenna. You can also remove that part here where I, where I have uh, my fingers on. This is also very easy. Just apply some force and then get it out. Uh, so that will save you another few grams. And this will be our antenna. As you can see, just put it into focus here again. We have for once the antenna signal here at the end of it and this here is the antenna shielding which needs to be connected to the mass of your uh, VTX of your video transmitter. So these are the basic parts which you need and I have already put this together for you and I will show this to you right now. Let's put, get that here. So this is the completed module already and I will uh, try to show it to you nicely. So I have used one of these antennas as I showed you before and here we will get the connection into focus. At least we try to. Yeah, that is nice. As you can see in the middle is the signal and I have used some soldering and some very small cables to just connect the shielding of the antenna here to the to ground to the mass of the of the module. So this is very easy. You just have to take care that these cables which connect the shielding to the ground uh, do not connect with the signal of course. Otherwise you won't have any reception. And this is it. This is very stiff so you can see I'm just holding it here. So this won't go away but if you want to make sure this, that this is even better uh, secured, you can simply 
apply some hot glue here, uh, which will make this even more robust. So this is the antenna side, and uh, here on the side where the power comes in, I've just put two cables here. Let me just bring this into focus and turn it around so that you can see it better. So this is five volts and ground. So I have soldered uh, two cables here where I will connect my one cell LiPo. And on the other side, I have hooked up the camera. So as you can see, the yellow cable is of course the video out of the camera, which goes to this video in board here, which you can see at the very bottom of it. And then we have mass, the black cable, which goes to the ground here, as you can see. Uh, and of course, the uh, uh, voltage, the, the 5 volt uh, power in for the camera, which goes to the same uh, 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 pin than the actual volt in for the for the LiPo. So as you can see, there are actually two ground pins here which I used. The module provides these, so I used them both because it makes it easier to hook up the camera. So we have here one ground pin and here is the other. Well, and that's it. This is our completed camera module which you can see here, I just put it into focus. And yeah, depending on how you want to use it on your micro build, you will of course solder the antenna either in this direction or in this direction and the same for the camera. So have, you have to think ahead of how you want to use this to find out how to perfectly solder this. And now, before we try this camera out, we of course come to the really interesting part, what's the weight of this? So let's take out our scales here and check this out. See if you can see it nicely. Yeah, that works. So let's put this here. And as you can see, this little baby comes in at five grams. So this is really nice. What will we do next? Of course, we need to try this out. So stay tuned and we will try this out in a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we saw how this is put together, it's time to actually try it out. For this purpose, I've just added another cable here. Let me just bring that into focus with two pins here, just to be able to hook this up to a one cell LiPo battery. So other than that, it's the same which you saw before. So let's try this out. Okay, so I've hooked this up now. I will now also turn on these uh, Quenum do-it-yourself glasses and see if we get the picture. And there we go. Let me just bring that into the focus of the camera and as you can see well this seems to work really well so picture is good so what you can see here is just the, the, the workbench my workbench but well it seems details are okay let me just get rid of these reflections a bit uh, let me get a bit closer for you yeah Okay, so I think this is best I can do for you here. Uh, as you can see, quality is okay. I uh, also actually, well, let's try something else. Let's put something here that you can see it. So that's just uh, one of my LiPo testers. And as you can see, that seems to work well. Let's put it the right way around. And as you can see, this is pretty nice for a 600 DVL camera. So very nice, excellent. I also did some range tests, some preliminary range tests of this uh, in my house. So what I do here, uh, I always go to the other floors 
and that will give me a good indication if everything is connected nicely, if the antenna works, and it does. So I went to the other two floors of my house and I still had good reception with my goggles and that means you will not have any problems uh, to use these for several hundred meters up to one kilometer I guess outdoors. So that module, I, I can't say if it uh, uh, puts out the, the full 200 milliwatts but it does seem to work very well. Okay, so this brings us to the conclusion of this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, I will definitely build several of these to use on my micro quad projects, on my upcoming micro quad projects. Hope you liked it. If you liked this, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe. All the links are in the description. Check it out and see you next time.